these are probably some of my favorite videos. Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I am so very excited to have you here. As we can see, I have a package. We have a package. You and I have a package and we gotta open it. If you cannot come up with a conclusion yourself, these are books. I'm very excited about. I got these for super, super cheap at Book Outlet. I got all of these books for $5.99 a piece. I don't know if they're used or not. I don't know. I assumed that they were new books. We will see. I really don't have too much to say. I'm kind of just eager to open them. So that's kind of what we're going to do. I'm going to show you what I got. Have a good time. Do a little unboxing haul for you guys. So this just has a little pull tab. Honestly, it looks like it's kind of already open. So a little bit all right this is so exciting a lot of these i did just look at the cover and then kind of get them from there or i've heard good things about them they weren't necessarily books that i've had on my radar that i've been looking for or anything like that but nonetheless i did get them anyways for 5.99 i might as well right so the first book that we have on top right here is billy summers by stephen king i have Again, heard some people talking about this, so I figured that I wanted to read it as well. You know, I just finished my horror books for the week, read some Stephen King, and I enjoyed it. So I did want to jump into some others by him. As we can see, this is another by him, so I figured why not just give this one a shot? It was $5.99. I might as well. I didn't really pay much attention to a lot of these being hardback or paperback, but I think some of them are hardback and I was not expecting them to be. I did think that this one was gonna be paperback, but it's not. But again, $5.99 for hardback, like you literally can't beat that unless if you're getting it secondhand. These honestly don't look used at all. There is a a nice little, <laughs> little dollop down there. It doesn't really bother me. Again, if it's super cheap, I don't really mind that much. Now, if I was paying like 20 bucks for this, yeah, I probably wouldn't want it to look like that, but it is what it is. So this is the first one for today. Then I have The Cradle of Ice. This one's by James, James Rollins. Rollins, I don't know, by James Rollins. I have the first book down there somewhere. It's on like the stack up there. I have not read the first book, but I do want to read it and I feel like I might enjoy it. They had the second book so I figured why not just go ahead and grab it. I think my big thing with this little series is I was like, I don't want to read the first book and then want to read the second one and I'll be able to find it anywhere. So when I saw that this one was cheap, figured what the heck, I'd go ahead and get it. The like bottom of it came torn. Again, for $5.99, I'm not that worried about it. But if you are somebody that's very finicky about the condition of your books and you do want them to be in pristine condition, this might not be your best place to order books from. Again, if you don't mind it because they're cheap, then it's okay. Or if you just genuinely don't care what condition your books are in, then go for it. But they don't look like they're used as in like annotated, written in, and all that stuff. Fun fact, I went on Pango Books one time. I got this app because I was like, you know what, I want to get some cheaper books. And I don't know what the deal is with the sellers on there, but they just, they drive me nuts. I don't like whenever people resell stuff for the same price as it would be to go buy it at Target. And nine times out of 10, all the books that I looked at on there anyways, it would be cheaper for me to buy them brand new at Target than it would be for me to buy them from them and then pay for the shipping on top of that. Why would I do that? You know what I mean? So I've, I had a lot of issues with people on Pango Books doing that. If they're not well-known books at all, it, a lot of them you get for like six, seven dollars after shipping and stuff like that. But for the most part, all of them I could get from Target for cheaper than I could just the book on there before shipping, which is to me is kind of ridiculous. I don't understand. And literally all of the books were like that. So I haven't really bought much from them unless if they're just really obscure books that I got for Nick. This is just such a random story, but I went on there one time and I was trying to find this book and this girl had put on there that this book was, it was like one step underneath the brand new. So like the most pristine used condition that this book could be in. And I was like, okay, so I put it in my car and I was thinking about getting it. And so I went back and I looked at it and she had written all in the book. She had like scribbled out the cuss words and replaced them with cleaner words. So if they had like, I don't know, the F word, she would like scratch over it and be like crap or something. It, it was just so funny. And I, But like to be like, yeah, it's almost brand new. And then that's what you get. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, people on there drive me nuts. Long story short. I'm not a fan, but I know some people are. Some people can find really good deals on books. 
I have not necessarily been so lucky, unfortunately. But I just thought that was funny. That was another book shopping experience that I had that I cannot get over ever. But back into the haul. Then I have Wrong Place, Wrong Time. This honestly was probably one of the first books that I put in my Amazon book wish list or something like that from forever ago whenever I first started deciding that I wanted to get more books and stuff. I think this is one of the first ones that I found that I decided that I wanted to try to get or at least look at getting or just that I found intriguing and decided that I wanted to get it at some point. I don't remember what the case was, but I do remember that this is one of the first books that I remember looking at the back of reading online as I'm researching what books that I want to look into getting next and actually deciding if this is something that I would enjoy. Oh, this is large print. Hmm. It's pretty intense. But hey, I did say that I wanted to read this at some point. I did finally get it. Now I feel like my old wanting to get into reading books again has been fulfilled. I don't know, my old self has been whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ignore me, but got this one. Then I got, what is this? Gallant? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Gallant? Gallant? Something like that by V.E. Schwab. This is such a cute little book. Oh my goodness. Like, just look at it. And like, the little, there's stuff on the inside. I don't know. And it's sweet. It's like a little square. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this would be so cute on like a little coffee table. I did apparently get a lot more hardback than I realized that I was getting, but I won't be complaining about that. And I got The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. This one's little. I was not expecting this one to be so little. Got a little sticker on it. I did not get it for $15.99 because I got it for $5.99. I've heard wonderful things about this one. I've not read a Catherine Center book. I heard a lot of people enjoy her books, so I figured, why not? Might as well, right? For $5.99, I can't complain. Hopefully I enjoy this. This definitely isn't as long as I thought it was gonna be. I thought this one was gonna be a longer book, but it's not, it's only like 300 pages. So, so we'll see what I think of this when I get to it. The cover of that one was a little bit dirty. <laughs> then I got Nothing But Blackened Teeth. This is, Again, so much shorter than I thought it was going to be. I don't know how long I thought, but it's only like 140 something pages. I think what I was getting at with this is that I just kind of recently finished Tenders of Flesh and I loved the length of that book. It was such a perfect book. There was no, there wasn't too much information. There wasn't not enough information. It wasn't dragging on at all. It was just straight to the point and really good. And so I liked the shortness of it. So I guess We'll see if this one is short. I think I read the back of the book and it sounded kind of good. So we'll see. This will be a sweet, fast, quick read. Interesting. And then I got The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. I got this one for Nick. I mean, self-explanatory. He's a little army boy. Why not get my little army boy a little army book? I love doing that. I love getting him little army books, even though he never reads them. So Nicholas, this one is for you. We'll see if he actually reads it. Hopefully. I got him a Kindle. Funny fact, I got him a Kindle and he's barely used it. That's what I get for trying to make him into a book boy when he doesn't quite want to be. But in, in my defense, he did kind of ask for it. So he did want it. He said he was going to enjoy it and he was going to like it. Oh no. Oh, this is terrible. It's not terrible, but like, oh crap. I don't like this. I don't really like this at all. Anyways, I got Thunderhead, and then I also got The Toll. These are the second and third book after Scythe. Again, I have that one over there. I did not realize that this one was going to be hardback. So I have the first one in paper, second one in hard, and the third one in paper. So that's kind of obnoxious. And I'm not like super picky. My Akatar series is paperback, throwing glass, hardback. I don't really care about that, but I don't want, I don't really want like this. I don't want a hardback and then a paperback in a series. I'd rather them all just be the same. Oh well, I'll get over it. And right, it's the middle book, so it's not, it'll be like in the middle. But I did get those. I really wish that this was in paperback. I really wish I paid more attention to that, but I didn't. And 
Now I have a hardback, but it's it's not like a gigantic hardback. It's about the same size, so I don't think it'll bug me too much. Then the last book that I got was the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez. Again, I've heard fantastic things from Abby Jimenez. A lot of people like her books. I figured it was time that I go ahead and jump on the bandwagon a little bit because for $5.99, I might as well. I probably wouldn't have got it for like 10 bucks, honestly, just me being really honest, but why not? For $5.99, why not? All right, well, I will say, honestly, for $5.99, a lot of those are hardback, so that's really not a bad, not a bad deal. So I would recommend checking out Book Outlet if you're in the mood to purchase any books. I will leave their link down below. You can check it out if you want to. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. So there's the haul. I was not expecting to get this many books. I don't know why. I mean, I literally purchased them all myself <laughs> but for some reason I was not expecting there to be this many in the box but that's all I got for you guys today let me know if you have read any of these if you have seen anything about some of these books that are just kind of random that I've never seen before let me know if any of these you're curious to read now let me know just anything literally anything so thank you so much for joining me today I'm so excited to have you here I hope y'all have a fantastic rest of your week and I hopefully we'll get to see you in the next one See ya. I don't think that I'm going to be able to fit these in my bookshelf. Mm -hmm.